Welcome to No Fugazi Podcast. I'm your host, Cooley. We got four lovely ladies on a panel today, and we about to have some fun. Let's get it. Let's start with intros, introducing themselves, and we're going to start with you. Me? Yeah. My name is Lee. What else? You say your name is what? Lee. You told me. No. Oh, yeah. 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 You told me earlier. We're not about to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Not about to do that. Yeah. 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 government right now i mean this, <laughs> everyone knows me for coolie so you could go ahead and say the government. david i mean that's cool with me. you, can, you, can, you can say the government I'm, I'm with all of that but um so anyways uh shirley um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, David. Don't do it like that. Anyway, Shirley. Uh, David. Where are you from? Originally? Like, I'm not from she here. She's not from I was you born from? in New York. You was born in New York? Okay. And I live here. And you live here? Yeah. Okay. From Brooklyn. Cool, cool. Brooklyn. From Brooklyn? <laughs> where, where? The finest. And uh, what do you do for a living? Wow. I didn't know we were asking personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get a little personal. Um, I work at a dental office. Dental office, okay. Yeah. And relationship status? Relationship status? Yeah. Huh, it's complicated. It's complicated. Mm, okay, yeah. okay. So it's complicated. All right. I'm just falling. Hold up. <laughs> Technical difficulty. Let's pull this over a little bit. I can't wait for my question. Right <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in turn. That's yeah. my relationship status. I'm doing it by myself today. Got uh, got no producers, so yeah, we good. Yeah, my name is Diamond. Diamond. Yes. Is that your stripper name or your no. real name? Oh, uh, that's your real well, name. No, that's my government name. That's your government name. Yes. Okay. And uh, I'm Diamond. I'm 23. 23. What I am a nail technician. Nice. Yeah. How long you been doing that for? Since 2019. Okay. Right. Okay. Yep. Word word. But don't and not too much on my nails because relationship status. <laughs> single. Yes. Okay. How long you been single for? Since like January of this year. Word. Okay. Since so you've been single for nine months. Mm hmm All right. I'm hot out girl here. summer? You had a hot girl summer? No, because Mm. Baby mama. I'm a baby mom and my baby dad was locked up, so I was holding it down. I feel you, mm. I feel you. So all right, all right. She said you I'm having a hot girl winner. I'm a mother. No drama. Okay. Yeah. And moving right along. Name, age, and where you from? Mm, KB. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm from around the way. <laughs> and um I'm young and turned, you know? You young in turn. Yes. Period. yes okay. Yes, word, yes. word. And uh, what do you do for a living? Chopping and finessing. Um, <laughs> I do Chopping hair too. Shout out Finesse by Bella. Yeah. 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 Get into yeah. it. Okay. Finesse by Bella. Um, mm -hmm. You do hair, you mean? Yes. Okay. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. And uh, relationship status? Young in turn. Young in turn? Yeah. So that means you're single? Yes. You're talking, so you're not talking to no one? Hell no. No one at all? No. Okay. Unless you're talking to my cash app. Mm. Oh, dang. <laughs> Do you really send money to your cash app? Yes, sir, Ski. That's mm -hmm. why. Yeah, get in line. Get in line. Mm -hmm. mm. So those guys that send money to your cash app, are those guys that you are sexually active with or you have them in a friend zone? <laughs> no. I'm not selling <laughs> okay that part so yeah. so what are they are they are these guys that's in your friend zone uh tricks so they tricks yeah tricking okay. if you got it what you asking you not tricking if you got it you're not tricking if you got it yeah okay i got you yeah. um hmm. and i'm well, only f with you if you got it you know what i'm saying okay mm -hmm. yeah we'll, we'll, we'll get Period. into in some yeah. more detail because <laughs> <with that. laughs> we did yeah. a little we got into a little bit of that uh the last episode but um Hi. moving right along to yourself name age and where you from my name is lila i'm from out here well i'm from out of town actually you from um, out of town yeah i'm 24 okay word mm -hmm. that's what's up single as fuck and uh, what do you do for a living i'm a cna 
CNA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Word. That's okay. First. Cool. Cool. How long you been doing that for? Um, I actually just started doing it. I just got my CNA license in May. So. Period. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. You just got it in May. I was like serving for like five years and shit like that. Period. I'm like, I need to do something Me different. Back. Yeah. Okay. And uh, relationship status? Yeah, I'm single. You're single. How mm-hmm. long you been single for? Since last February. Last February. Dang, you've been single for what? A year and a half. Over that. I love that. Going, about to be going on two years. So, year and <laughs> yeah. nine months. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, cool. Uh, well, when was your last relationship, actually? Huh? When was your last relationship? <laughs> when was it? Yeah, like when? Well, you've been single since February, but you haven't, like, what you've been doing this whole year and some change. You've been dating or what you've been doing? Um, doing me. <laughs> yeah, doing me. <laughs> Hot Girl Summer this year or nah? Um, yeah, it was Hot Girl Summer, Get the Bag Summer, you know, Bad Summer, all that, all in one. It was all mm-hmm. of that? Okay. All in one. We're, we're saying no more. All right, mm-hmm. so we're going to get into the podcast, ladies. Thank you for coming. Um, first question on the panel is going to be very simple. And if y'all have questions, be don't hesitate to ask. You got something that come up on your mind? Be like, yo, I got a question. Let me know. We'll we'll do a question. Um, but let's, we're going to start simple. We're going to start with um, you over here. Uh, describe your ideal man. So um, you go with <laughs> race, income, um, and height. Race. Um, and race height. I don't really have a preference, honestly. You don't have a preference? Um, I don't know. I really don't. Yeah, race, I don't really care. Okay. Um, height, you just got to be taller than me, and I'm not that tall, so <laughs> 25 so, too. So, so with race, you'll date an Asian? I would date an Asian, yeah. Have you ever dated an Asian? Yeah, I've dated an Asian, yeah. <laughs> You've dated an Asian? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Dang, this girl. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Cool, cool. Yes, and I have. And you said height, taller than you. How tall are you? I'm 5'2". You 5'2"? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you super short. Thing. So if the dude is five five, you cool with that? Um, mm, no. Like you gotta be taller than me when I got the heels on. Yeah. Okay. So, you know what so I mean? what's your height preference? Five eight, six foot. Um. Like, what do you prefer? Yeah, I would say like. Because this is your ideal man. What do you prefer? Ideal, like if I could just make up a man. If you could make up a man, what would be his race, height, and so income? So if I could just make up a man. Build- Go workshop. Build a workshop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, like mm, Blasian. Ooh, Ooh. For real. Like, like what? Blasian. Blasian, so yeah. black and Asian? Yeah. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. That's that's a little unique, I guess. I got one of those in the tub. That is a little unique. Yeah, and then, yeah, the height, if we talk, you know, I'd be like six, six something. Six something? Know? Six what? Six something. Six something, okay. <laughs> um, and what was in- the other income. question? Income. Income? Yeah, income. You know, big bag, like big bag. So, mm-hmm. what's a big bag? Give me a figure. You know, six and up. Six and up, six mm-hmm. figures and up. You mean? You said ideal man, right? Yeah, ideal man. Yeah, yeah. So are we talking that right, low six ideal. figures because six figures is a hundred thousand a year. We talking mid, up, half a million and up. Well, give a figure like your ideal. I thought I just did. You said six figures, but like where we're at, six figures is a lot. You could say thousands, and well, what thousands would that be? Uh, you could say hundred thousand. You could say five. Like a hundred thousand. No, not a hundred thousand. You go hundred thousands. So you go with one, two, three hundred thousand. Up there, yeah, specifics. up there. Why? Just give me something. It's an ideal. Say a on number. On a dot is crazy. Uh, yeah, on a dot is crazy. No, I don't got to be on a dot. But is it one hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand? What is it? More than me. Right. More than you? Okay. All right. So uh, you said black and Asian. You said six something. And you said 100,000 something. I guess I'll let you slide. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, going on to you, Bella. Yeah. Um, ideal man. Ideal man. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you said rate. What's, what's race? Up? Yeah, which what else? Race. So what race, else? height. Just building the workshop. Building yeah, yeah, race, building height, and income. Uh, Those six three. foot and above. Mm-hmm. Um, you gotta have that thing in between them legs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, race. Honestly, if you're n- not white, I'm sorry. I'm not with no white boys. I yeah. don't like my meat pink. Um. <laughs> 
The fellas, the fellas that's definitely gonna want to know though. So I gotta ask. So because you said <laughs> that's the my thing in between your legs. How much is that thing thanging? Because it could it have needs to be a thing. You could walk on three legs. Strong mm. five. Oh. So, so oh, what's your no. preference? <laughs> what's up, what's what's up, five? What's your preference? Yeah, five is a little too short. So what's your preference? Uh, thick and long, like mm. Nikki say. You know, so y'all just saying long. Like, what's thick. long to you? Oh my what's goodness. long to you? Uh, Heavy on the thick. Like, it's got to be like halfway long, past right? your leg. Yeah. Like, it's, if it's yeah. halfway like, hard, like, um, that's, I can five, see it when you, when yeah, you got five shit is on, too like. short. Like, six and thick is cool. Seven and thick, yeah. <laughs> okay, so seven, Eight okay. and thick is like, ah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you know between yeah, seven and eight. All right, yeah, cool seven and eight. Um, but so, and then, honestly, my ideal man is like a dark skin, you know, fine okay. chocolate man, six foot, got that motherfucking bag, know how to love a lady. Mm-hmm. Heavy yeah. on the love a lady. Heavy mm-hmm. on that. Um, these dudes be having like mommy daddy issues. I don't want none of that. <laughs> none of that. Um, so really? so let's get to uh, specifics. So um, income. Income, you gotta have that bag. Like, what's the bag? Six figure type of dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, you gotta have yeah. more than me, cause I'm a young bitch having. Are motion. you going with like just a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand? I do you can't prefer? really put a, a dollar amount on it, if that's okay with you. Um, you, you said you're 23, I guess. Yeah, so, but you, you gotta know. have more than me. When you get a little older, you'll see that it's a hundred thousand versus even two hundred thousand. Yeah, a hundred and a huge up. difference. A hundred and up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause yeah. yeah but it's, are we talking monthly, yearly? Like yeah, yeah. you're not so being let me, yeah. Cause cause y'all young. Let me give yeah. y'all an understanding of what a six figure yeah. is. Yes, right? yes. So there's levels to even being a six figure. You There's get what levels. I'm saying? So I guess two hundred thousand a year. Okay, two hundred thousand. There mm-hmm. we go. That's better. Um Yeah. If you're not having if you're not if you're not bringing more to the what I bring to a table, I'm yeah. not fucking with you. Right. Um, a lot of dudes be like, I live alone, but you you're you walk in the house and they dead grandma dying <laughs> on the couch. Like <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So Um yeah. So, we so you said a black dude, model. chocolate. You yeah. said R.I.P. over six foot. Then you said two hundred thousand dollars a year, and you said uh, seven. Okay, cool. Yeah. Moving right along to you. Um, man. So I'm young. Like I'm still trying to figure out what I like and what I don't like. But what I don't like, I oh, know. Let me build a nigga workshop. Yeah, so <laughs> definitely a black man. You can come in in all sorts of different flavors. I don't care. Um, like my bestie said, no white pink meat. Nope. No, thank you. Um, unseasoned, right. no adobo, no sasson. Unless you see like that, you can give me a gas mm. station for my birthday. Hello, not even that. Not even that. <laughs> um, Hello, next. Habibi. Um, honestly, you just got to be taller than me, like she said. Um, I don't want no short men. Um, got to be packing where you ain't lacking. If the sex ain't popping, we ain't jocking. Mm-hmm. But I'm not a rapper. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and then yeah. income. Income, like I said, money don't matter. So, like, as long as you loving me the way I'm supposed to be getting love, definitely. I mean, can like, he, I've been with a nigga that I make you? more money than. Can he truly love you the way you want to be loved if you're making if he's only making forty thousand a year? No, I mean he like. Unfortunately, <laughs> I feel like that's another topic we should talk about. Like yeah. inflation, because yeah. like <laughs> money. <laughs> Unfortunately, is everything so it's like you can't be with a broke nigga yeah. in these days and days because they be insecure. Unfortunately, All right, so this, look, this is your preferred man, build the dude. So, give yeah, me a number. Per- the like, I don't know, like, I think you ought to make at least like 300 a day, like, at least two, 300 a day. Yeah, two, 300 a day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's cool for me. Like, I feel like that's chilling. Like, you work in a nine to five, cool, you got a side hustle, you trapping whatever you were doing, as long as you're making like 300. A day, yeah, like a day. okay, that's pretty standard. Three hundred dollars, or like five k a month, like five k. Okay, that's sixty thousand dollars a yeah, year. Yeah, like okay, that's five, comfortable. Okay, you feel me? Because I'm not about to ask for something that I can't provide in return. Like I'm not one of them. Word. So what's one of them? Like 
we like getting into like three different topics because i think a lot of women be trying to act like you know like they want some rich ass man Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. it's like girl you don't even know what you i feel like some women wouldn't even know what to do with a rich ass man like for me if i get a rich man like i'm gonna like have him invest in me because baby i got all the plans in the mm. in like i can make us money give me some money i'm gonna triple it that mm. fucking part. so it's right. like yeah. a that lot part. of girls they don't right. really be on that type of time like they just want the bags and they to want the it. yeah they want Designer. the chanel shoes like i'm they not like that this. like they give me the- some <laughs> land and yeah. i'm gonna buy some property and we about to make an airbnb flip that shit mm-hmm. real estate yeah jump mm-hmm. in yeah. Okay. i'm not no leech so, i could triple your shit mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah so question mm-hmm. for you right so um, you said that, ah, you know, those type of girls, right? So do you think the man is attracted to, like, so a man that's out there making money, right? Do you think that he's looking for a girl that's making money? Most men that no. have money like damsels in distress. Mm-hmm. That's just a fact. Damsel in distress? Damsels in distress. Yes. Okay. I, I, I think. So it's not a Most man- men like to help. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They don't like to no. like if I mean most I feel like 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 Drake said in that one song like why I feel like what did he say he said I want what the fuck did he say in that song he said I want a woman to feel like she needs me mm-hmm. why do yeah. I feel like yeah. I want a woman mm-hmm. to feel like she needs me I lost my way nah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so I feel like he, like a lot of men note. a lot of men want yeah. a woman to depend on them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want to feel like a manly man. That's what yeah. most men do. Because okay. most men want you to feed into their ego, whatever the hell they mm-hmm. got going on. But a, a woman ego. will never submit to a man unless he's doing all of what he got to do. Word. Got you. So yep. it's like, at the end of the day, like them females that be doing, like that just want the money and just want the, like, men are going to seek that out yeah. fast. So I wouldn't say men want a damsel in distress. Um I would say that men definitely want to be the hero in the definitely. girl's world. Yeah. Um, the hero in her story. You know what I mean? He wants to be the one that, you know, kills the dragon and rescues her, rescue her from the castle. But um, as far as like, like a damsel in distress is not that is not like we were looking for someone to take care of. Um, we really just don't care about a woman's finances. You know what I mean? That's really what it goes to. It's kind of yeah. like. You, right? So, say if you wouldn't really be like, you wouldn't really care about a guy and his fashion sense too much. You want him to dress nice. Yeah, but you would you put that want shit on. <laughs> yeah, put that shit on. Yeah, what I'm saying, that shit. Yeah, what I'm saying is you wouldn't want that to be, you wouldn't have that as a priority within a guy, right? His fashion sense wouldn't be your main priority. The main priority no. is going to be the three things that you mm. mentioned, right? Yeah. And then it's going to be like, is he charming? Is he charismatic? Is he this? Is he that? You know what I mean? Um, so just how you wouldn't be looking for a guy's beauty, we wouldn't be looking for a woman's income. For sure. Yeah, yeah. but so, so with that being said, right, you said that, you know, I don't want to be like those girls because those girls is like, you're pretty much saying like those girls seem like they're needy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like okay. y'all can't provide what y'all want. Moving right along, ideal man. Mm-hmm. Cheryl. Cheryl. That was, that was for me. That was for me. Um, ideal man. Mm. Okay. Um, I've only dealt with Spanish boys, so I feel like my ideal man gotta be Spanish. Damn, you racist. I'm, I'm not racist. Poppy. It's just that's like my Spanish puppy. <laughs> that's my type. Yeah, nah, a little Spanish puppy. Like, like toxic. Um, as fuck. fuck. Mm-hmm. Um. What else? What was the questions? The income so and the height? you said Spanish guy, so now it's um, height. Height, yeah. I'm like 4'11", <laughs> so like my ideal man got to be like 6 feet. I like okay. I like a tall man. You gotta okay. like pick, pick me, me up. <laughs> like <laughs> feel me yeah, like no, I, I like a tall up. man. Okay. Like, yeah, I want to be picked up. Um, income. 
I'm going to relate to what Diamond said. Like Diamond said 60000 So what's your... Uh, like around... Yeah, like around there. Like I'm not going to sit there and like... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not going to say something that I don't really like care for. Uh, like, okay, yeah, it'd be nice to have a nigga that makes more than 60 k a year. But like I'll settle for that. Like... It yeah. don't it don't matter to me as Money long as you're thing. yeah as long as you get in the bag like mm-hmm. I am and as long as <laughs> you can bring to the table what I'm bringing to the table I don't really care. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Per, um, per, per, per. I love that for you. All right. All right. So those <laughs> that's your ideal man. So yeah. Oh, and that thing gotta be thinging too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, here Jesus. you go. Let another one. That could trump it all. No, 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 no. I'm you sorry, know why but I say that though? You know why I say that? Cause a lot of these men don't be packing, and then they be. It's they not be the ocean. Like, the motion in the ocean. Right. It's not the motion. Like, that's thing. not in, mm. in between them fucking legs. Mm. Let's get into it. Like, all right. Like, you know how they be doing like three out of ten men. Have, so ladies, no. I got a like question. Six, I usually no, don't real. talk Have about these topics. What the topics. fuck going on? <laughs> oh so, my bad, we different. I usually don't speak <laughs> about these topics, but we can get into it a little bit, right? Oh. So, um, question for you and you, since the thing got to be thanging, right? <laughs> um, would would you even care hey. or even wonder? If the thing was thinking, if you were still a virgin, because that means that you would be satisfied with any guy that you were with. No. You wouldn't know what's out there. You wouldn't know you if would. it's not thinking. You, you, would you, know. you wouldn't time. know if it's not You thing. would know. Pictures. I mean, yeah, that. Well, that's or a, like that's if a, you're in person, like, I'm sorry. I'm, that's a picture you haven't really right. experienced. So, I'm look, not so, lie, let's, so let's run this back. Let's say I'm a virgin and I'm with, uh, I'm with a dude. Yeah. I'm not about to lose my virginity to no fucking... Three inch nigga, <gasps> right? <laughs> like, right. I'm sorry, no, like, <laughs> nah, that's it's go question. big or go home at that so, point. So, like, okay. it's go big or go home. My point is the point I'm making here is that y'all talking about size and all of this stuff, right? And you're saying, well, I don't want this because niggas really be da da da, right? My point is that if you've never experienced other sizes right and you held your virginity right right and you got with someone not just for sex but you got with someone out of love admire and respecting okay, that yeah, man that's right different. so what well, we i'm saying here is that. yeah one second what i'm saying here is that i'll speak on it women women <laughs> find women find uh joy and pleasure with emotions right that's yeah, that's, that's a true. fact, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you find yeah. joy and p- pleasure with emotions, like you prioritize that emotional vibe. Like you, every lady want to feel the vibes with yeah. the guy, right? Mm-hmm. If you're not feeling that vibe, it's just like ah, yeah. he was cute, it was cool, he got some money, but he was kind of corny. Yeah, you know you're what I'm right. saying? Yeah. You're right. So it's like you want you prioritize emotions first, right? So my point that I'm making, if you prioritized what you're naturally supposed to be prioritizing what the natural femininity desires you know what i mean that connection Mm -hmm. and that chemistry and you know that romance you know what i'm saying if you actually then get with a guy and you're a virgin and you get with a guy that you admire and you respect and you love even if he had whatever amount of inches it was you would be like this is great right you know what okay. I'm saying? Y'all disagree? And that would be a fairy tale come true. Like, but I feel like we can't tale. speak on that because none of us are virgins and we know what is big and what is yeah. not. And that's what <laughs> yeah. 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 I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Was, but yeah. I and if that would have happened, it. I would have been with him. We would have been married. No, no, no. Kids. But I definitely agree on the motion in the ocean. No, fine. I definitely fuck agree no. on that. Because even if it's big, you could still have no motion in the ocean. Exactly. Or you could Or you could be hurting the girl instead of pleasuring. Instead of, yeah. yeah. Honestly, if you know how to work it, you know how to work it. That's okay, what I was yeah. going to say, because you definitely got to know how to work it, because mm-hmm. there's definitely been times where I spun back on people who's, they they know how to do it then, but they know how to do it now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like... Mm-mm-mm-mm. But but do y'all get my point? I nah, know what y'all talking about. Y'all about talking this. about you know sex and stuff like that, <laughs> and y'all getting into the details of you know the man and what he could be doing. And I'm 34 years old, been there and done that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm I'm not speaking about that. I'm speaking about basically what y'all talking about. But like, see y'all prioritizing like a nigga with big dick and big dick energy. Yeah. But those is like so when you prioritize that then you disqualifying 
Like you're probably dismissing a lot of other red flags in that man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's so. Bag. So what I'm saying is, yeah, if you, right. you were, if you held, if ladies in general, not y'all, but late women in general, held on to their virginity and had some discernment and chose a man of value, someone that they genuinely love, admire, and respect, someone that they feel the vibes with, some some guy that's you know built really building with them. You know what I'm saying? Um. You know, sex really isn't on the high priority list for a woman. That's like maybe three, four down the list. For a man, sex is high up on the mm -hmm. list. But for a woman, it's lower on the list because y'all want that emotional connection. So like another example, right? Um, well, just to bring this full circle, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So to bring it full circle, like a man that's really out there doing his job and working on himself and creating a good life for himself because when a man benefits, the woman that he chooses benefits as well, right? Mm -hmm. So if he's a strong masculine man, he's leading a relationship, he's like, hey baby, you know where it is, I'm gonna pick you up at eight. Boom, then he Word. take you to a I nice wish. restaurant. He's leading that relationship, yeah. right? He leading everything, he's charismatic, he making you feel the vibes during dinner and all of that. Even maybe afterwards, I may go dancing a little something, who knows what it is. Yeah. yeah. By the end of the night, you already wet. Like the nigga don't yeah. even he could come with four inches and yeah 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 you your head is already like oh this the nigga you get no. what I'm saying? That's that I love don't know. Yeah. I don't but feel that's it. that love bonding I still feel it. I that's still got love bonding. Bond yeah. I'm not talking about gritty. love bonding. I'm talking about just having. Are we having... nutting off four inches? <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's four inches is. was a reach. Yeah. Four yeah. inches yeah. was a reach. But now you teasing me. Yeah. At this point, four inches was a reach. The task at Now I gotta get my rocks off by myself. Like, let's put a rose out. Four, four inches was a <laughs> like, reach. That was cute and all, but what are we doing about this? Yeah, like, what No, no, look, but y'all get the point. Like, y'all get what I'm saying, right? So pretty much what I'm saying is, like, y'all prioritize other things in a man anyway. So if you held on to your virginity and had some discernment, you'll, but let me you won't even this, really though. care about that. But let me tell you this, though. Yeah, like, but we there's, can't there's, do that now. What if there's just women in general, women not who Is sex a big thing in the relationship? Yes. Yeah, well, it's sex right, is, We can move on, though. Yeah, no, it's no. Like sex, sex, is a, sex is extremely important a in a relationship. To a man, it's very important. That's what I'm saying. For a man, it's still, it's yeah. still yeah. important I mean, as well. It's just woman, not priority. Yeah, it's right. definitely not priority. <laughs> I'm no better than a man. Like, a bitch, I gotta get my rocks off before <laughs> anything else. Like, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna start with you. Should a man care about what his woman wears? No. Oh my lord. Yo. And why? No. If, wait, 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 yes. Can I, can I no. If no. Okay. Mm, I don't think so. Because honestly. Wait, what'd you say? She gotta I use the bathroom. bathroom. Oh yeah, go ahead. Right. Use the bathroom. <laughs> so yeah, I would just repeat the question. So should a man care about what his woman wears? No. Okay, and why? Because I feel yeah. like that is a man's insecurity. That's a that's a you problem. If you are not okay with what I'm wearing, then you need to check yourself. Because me, as a woman, if I'm in a relationship, I know my place. I know I'm not wearing stuff for any other any other man. I'm wearing it for myself. I'm wearing it to look beautiful, to feel confident. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So if you have a problem with what I'm wearing, like I said, then you need to check yourself. Mm. You should, you, and guys should feel proud about that. Like, you got a bad bitch. You got mm -hmm. niggas coming up to, to your bitch telling her she's bad as fuck and mm -hmm. she's not giving her number out or none of that. So right. I don't see what's the problem with that. So you just alluded to something. You said a man, uh, you know, should feel proud that a woman has a lot of guys coming up to him and she's still going to say like no yeah um so question for you if you had a lamborghini right mm -hmm. you just purchased this lambo it's nice you bought it from the dealership and the dealership said you know what i know you purchased it but bring it in every saturday and uh i want to display it I want to put it on display and uh, we're going to put a for sale sign on it so other people could see because we're trying to sell some other ones that's backed up in stock. Um, would you be okay with that? But a car and clothes is different. Let's just answer the question. Would you be okay? I mean, a car is a car. 
Would you be okay with that? Yes or no? You just purchased a Lamborghini <laughs> and the dealership said, hey, on Saturdays, you want, we want you to come bring it by. We're going to put a for sale on it. Am I getting for paid sale for sign that? on it? And we're going to display <laughs> it to all, to all the people. Um, would you be okay with that? I mean, if it's a car, yeah, I don't care. It's a car. So mm. a car that you just spent a lot of money on a Lamborghini that's hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Mm -hmm. That you just spent on it. You're okay spending all of that money and then every Saturday bringing it back to the dealership, letting them keep it the entire Saturday with the mm -hmm. for sale sign on it. How does that compare though? I'm just that's asking what, a question. That's Would what I'm you, saying. Like, you, you, you think about it, <sighs> is yes or no? Is that something that you would really do? I mean... If it's my car, they would have to keep up to date with it. Like, there, you can't. I mean, no, you're right. No, exactly. Because <laughs> I don't want nobody. To, but exactly, I don't want nobody nothing. Anything. Exactly. It's so, not so, the same though. A car, so, a car is not the same yeah, as a woman with clothes. What I'm telling you, what I'm right. saying is that what you don't understand is that that's how men view women. We view women as, <clears throat> you know, like. That's out, like that's ours. I would understand, like in a car and a woman predicament. I'm just going off of basically what you said, right? Yeah. So you said that, well, you know, my man should feel proud that I'm dressing sexy and other guys is walking up to me calling me sexy. That's the same thing <clears throat> as literally purchasing pressure. something. <laughs> And then you're going back to the dealership and the dealership is saying, you know, hey, we're going to put a for sale sign on it. Or even better, another analogy is you just buy a new, uh, what, Ferrari. Would you park your new Ferrari in the hood? No. Hell no. Okay. So the reason why you wouldn't park your new Ferrari, new Ferrari in the hood is because you know that people are going to try to break into it. Yeah. They're going to try to scratch it. They're going to sit on it, maybe take pictures of it. Like, is there Ferrari? You get what I'm saying? Okay. So that's how men view women. Like, we wouldn't want no man talking to our girl, trying to push up, trying to touch her, trying to, you know, court her and get her, even though we know she's loyal, even though we know she's loyal and even though we know... Uh, you know, our Ferrari has the best, you know, security lock system in the world. I mean that my I got the best security lock system in the world, but I still wouldn't want to park my Ferrari in the hood. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So no. with our woman, we know she's loyal, but we still wouldn't want her dressing sexy going to the club. But here's own. a question. Would you let her dress sexy and whatever she wants to wear if she's with you? That's a different story. Okay. Yeah, that's a different story. Hey. Let's go with her. Same question. So we should a man up. care about what a woman wears? <laughs> Yes and no, because, like, all right, yeah, your ass shouldn't be all the way out, and you know what I'm saying? There should be no nip slips. I shouldn't see your nips through your top. Definitely like, boundaries. There's yeah. definitely things that there should be boundaries on, but, like, I feel like it'd be simple things, like, that men be tripping over and I'd be feeling like it's yes. definitely insecurity, yeah. and that's all yeah. I to say about the topic, because it's just dumb, and Kiki Palmer, like... <laughs> <laughs> that's my bitch and you see how she's stunning in the Usher video yeah, yeah. her man was like, upset you about dumb, that I'm dumb. a triple H oh, her man was upset about that you yeah, said she's stunning was in he was that like, video you're a mother yeah like what but that's you're her man her mother. man yeah I'm a baby mother. daddy basically um, wrong button my bad <laughs> I was gonna say I ain't lying about shit <laughs> but I'm a mother and wrong I still button. be wearing what the fuck I wanna wear doing what the fuck I wanna mm -hmm. do and I so, feel like uh, we can, let's have these conversations be concise so you said that you really don't a man shouldn't care at all i what mean he should wears. care but he shouldn't at the end of the day because if you knew what how a woman was doing her before you got together you should know that she wouldn't tone it down for you exactly. you know what i'm saying like uh, but then it goes back to how we was talking before like if a man's providing he's doing all this <laughs> right, other shit, i'm gonna submit to him right, because on, you want me that's again? daddy like i'm gonna listen oh, to you like hell oh, yeah you don't want me to yeah. wear this bag she's the demon. say what say word like <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. but there's other men who just be doing too fucking much and it's mm. like all so, right you're so doing you're saying too much. the low value men you're saying the low value <laughs> men shouldn't get the treatment of you know. Exactly, Correct. low value men. You're not doing nothing for me. You're not adding some. You didn't buy my outfit. Then you have nothing. You should say absolutely <laughs> nothing. nothing. See, got see, fellas. This is exactly what I tell y'all here on the podcast. You gotta get your money right. 
get in the gym, get muscles, and build up some strong masculine frame, and you'll garner more respect from these women. If you, that, if, you if, if you submit mm-hmm. to your masculine energy, mm-hmm. then you are going to win every time. Yeah. Once you switch into that sassy mode and you start acting like you a bad bitch and you start doing shit like that we be doing, then you're out of the game so like now we yeah. you're so gonna be disrespected so every you, time so you just proved the <laughs> point giving. you just proved the point i always say on this podcast right so you said something before you said um you know those men are insecure when they have all these standards for the woman and they want her to be dressing da 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 so you just proved my point you actually just answered it yourself because you said that um well yeah i would dress more modestly if a man is you know protecting and providing and really leading a relationship right yes. but the dudes that i'm not going to respect is the dudes that don't have the value to be respected exactly. so what i'm saying that is yeah. not an insecurity is not an insecurity because it's like it is an insecurity sometimes it's not an insecurity at all i would say that the men think about it the guys that is going to allow his woman to be dressing promiscuous when he's not with her and dressing with a, you know, a short skirt and all of this stuff. Those guys don't have the value and the masculine frame to dictate certain things in a relationship. So he'll allow his girl to do anything, which means mm-hmm. that he doesn't have the courage to be like, hey, baby, I don't want you wearing this because he fears that she'll maybe backlash he'll get backlash from his woman and like oh well you insecure you this and this i'm leaving you so (laughs) he's not secure in his position in the relationship to have the courage to be like yo i don't want you wearing that take that off or i'm done with you and i put it also in perspective for myself because i wouldn't want my man like walking around with hoochie daddy shorts on showing that print (laughs) <laughs> so it's like mm-hmm. cover that well, that's up but that's why I said yeah, like, yeah, I really would just gonna go the, if I want to dress yeah. like you know real sexy and all that I'm gonna make sure my man gonna be there yeah. if I'm going out with my girls I'm gonna have the little cute little brunch dress yeah, not too much not like too much. Yeah. yeah that's it cause yeah I mean that's that's still cause that's you don't want your man to be insecure mm-hmm. at the end of the day yeah. anyways mm-hmm. like yeah. no but my point is is that the dude that's the dude that has those standards is the higher value guys really of course like the lower yeah. value, higher value low, i'm listening yeah but the lower value guys normally don't even have the courage to be like yo nah, I, don't I feel really like some of them that. do be trying to tell but, you what to do but mm-hmm. even but even those guys right even the lower value guys that you don't really truly respect like that because they're not they don't even have a car in their name or something like that you get what i'm saying it could be one of those type of the guys mm-hmm. even those guys aren't insecure like if they're saying something they're saying it because they don't want you is they don't want their lamborghini being parked in the hood is what i'm saying but let's move right along to you bella what do you yes, think first. um should a man uh should a man care about what his woman wears um yes and no okay because like all right like yeah if you take care of home and all that shit you don't want me wearing that well honestly Honestly, I hate when men look at me when I'm outside. Word. So if what? I'm going really outside don't. and my ass showing out my really skirt, don't. I'm going to change my outfit. Yeah. My titties showing, I'm going to change my outfit. Okay. But like if I got like a, first of all, I'm not even entertaining you if you want a low, a low baller ass. Like I'm not going to respect your shit. If I don't respect your shit, I'm not fucking with you. Fair enough. Yeah. And yourself? Um, I, I'm going to have to agree on what she said. Like it's a yes and no for real. And why, uh, why yes? Why yes, he should care? Or why yes, he shouldn't care? Um, yeah, why yes, he should care? Why yes, he should care? About what you wear, yeah. Because, like, we was all talking about, like, he, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna want, like, me, him not being there, seeing me have mad fun, and him just not there, so he's gonna be tight, like, damn, you look good, I can't yeah. even get it, shit. So, pretty sure he's gonna care, but... Also, like, I wouldn't be going outside looking all hoochie mama type shit. Like, I'm not on some none of that. Like, I'm going to make sure I'm stepping. Half of the time, I really don't even be going to the club with heels and dresses. I really just be wearing sneakers type shit, and I just be putting that drip on for real, for real. So I really don't even be dressing like that. Everyone pretty much said, like, yeah, no. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, pretty much besides you. I don't think you... <laughs> you were just like, no, no. <laughs> the man shouldn't care at all. I'm going to wear what I want. Da, da, da. Yeah. So, I say that because I'm not I one of those which, girls okay. that shows too much anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Like she said, I hate male attention. Do you see what I'm wearing right now? Like, this... This is bummy shit right now, but you like hate male attention. I hate male attention. I do when I'm think, out in the I club. I think y'all all love it. No, <laughs> no. hell no. no. I think y'all all hell love like it. These bitches, thirsty as fuck. Y'all all lying right now. I am not lying. No. Definitely not lying. Yo. Cap, 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 if you were to see me, like- all of y'all pretty much agree that a man really shouldn't care about what his woman wears. Pretty much, nah, nah, nah. but we get where you coming I, from. I didn't say yeah, you we get care. Where yeah. So a question for y'all: could just raise your hands, who show of hands? So, um, do y'all want y'all man to lead the relationship? It- okay, y'all all want the man to lead the relationship. <laughs> Yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna listen to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where are we about to eat at? Yeah. You should already know. Should already and know. another question for y'all: Do y'all want that man to protect and provide for you? Hell yeah! For sure. Yes. For sure. Yes. Okay. yes. All right. So, so <laughs> my you know thing why? is part of the man protecting you, yeah. right? Is understanding that the world doesn't owe you. Or anyone else understanding, right? True. Meaning that there are bad apples out there of men and women. So a man having a standard of a dress code for his woman when she's going out in public is part of him protecting you from yourself of things that you may not even be aware of is what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the part where it's like totally not insecure. And men, we innately know this because I'm a man and other men are men, right? Mm -hmm. So we all know Think about it. Men fall in love with their eyes, generally speaking, right? Mm -hmm. We fall in love with our eyes. So we're very visual creatures. That's why OnlyFans and the porn industry is one of the biggest industries ever is because men are the consumers of Mm -hmm. those industries, right? So since men are visual creatures, we all know that... Other men, when our girl is out by herself or with her friends, is going to be looking at our woman. So that's the protecting part. There's no insecurity. Why do you think that there's like a whole culture, like the Muslim culture? There's a whole culture of Muslims and then, you know, in the East, the Middle Eastern culture where they have the woman wear the hijabs and all of those things. They're a bit yeah. so, That's true. I'm not, not going to I never really even thought about it like yeah, that. It's not an from. extreme. It's because they know biology. I was biology. like, damn, you trying to tell me what's no, and you know what's yeah, crazy so wait, let me is that those it, right? men... I, let, yeah, let me land my plane. So what I'm saying is that... And I want to just give y'all ladies the per, like a true perspective because I'm a man, I got a daughter, and I coach other men for a living and women as well, right? So men, it's not like we like trying to restrict you and like, you know, hold you back and like, you know... Uh, make you come like full subservient to us and stuff like that. No, we generally, I would say that the man that has more standards for his woman loves her more. Of course. Right? Yeah, of course. Because the yeah. man that has less standards, think about it. Don't care. I can have two Don't girls. Care. I can have two girls I'm talking to. The girl that I have more standards with, everyone knows I love her more. She's not really going to the club like that. Um, she's dressing modestly. And, you know, I keep her around in a close circle. Mm. But then I could be talking to another girl and I don't really care what she does. You know what I'm saying? I could care less about who she's with and stuff like that. I'm just hitting it. There's no emotional ties. I don't love her at all, really. But the girl that I have more standards for, it's obvious that I love her more. So when we're speaking about the whole the Middle East, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, how they operate in the Middle East and the, they have the woman wear the hijabs and stuff like that. And people think that's oh, that's terrible. Those women are oppressed and they're oppressing their women. No, they're not oppressed. They're saving those women from themselves. Like we know that women love attention. Women love attention. Attention makes women feel happy. If we care about you, we literally want to protect you from yourself because we know that we're men, we're visual creatures and other men would have nefarious eyes and ways and ulterior motives when they're around you. Think about it. When you go to the club, you go into the club with your girls, y'all partying, and y'all literally just going for the good vibes to drink a little bit. Men mm-hmm. go to the club for one purpose, usually, to see how many chicks they can pick up to smash. Yeah. So it's like... And that's beyond me. It just our, blows me every time. Our, But that's the thing. Like, attraction isn't symmetrical, meaning that what you're attracted to in a man 
he is he isn't necessarily attracted to you in the, in those same ways. Is so like the man experience and a woman experience is totally different. Like we operate on two Definitely. different frequencies. And that's why yeah, I, where I get like the whole like women want attention because like I feel like for me like I'm gonna pick the one who's on my dick. Like I'm gonna pick the one who's always on me, on my body, like you know, giving me that attention. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. if I'm dealing with two different dudes and one is just like all about him and doing him, like I get that whole like you need attention. Like I feel like women are very high maintenance when it comes to that because it's like we don't feel loved on, and then yeah. that's where it leads to like insecurities and her drifting away. Yeah, like there's definitely yeah. some type yeah. of. I get that for sure. And attention is is like y'all thinking of it in like a negative way. No, no, no like, I'm like I'm saying like I want to be loved on the most. Like I want to be loved on. I want the attention on some like you want me. Like I'm your star. Like I'm the star of the show. Like that's how I'm looking at it. I'm not looking at it like yeah, y'all refilling up drinks, lady. <laughs> and y'all going in, y'all. Right? <laughs> okay, we gonna we gonna keep rolling then. Um, but so, yeah, like even with even on the attention part with like, as you were saying, and so like it's a for a man, a woman, a woman that's attention seeking is a red flag for sure, because no one wants no man wants a woman that's going to be always like, oh, me, 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 me. Oh, you know, want, wants to be in the camera all a the time me. and stuff like that. A pick me. Um, a pick me. Misha. And I mean, no, the, the, <laughs> a pick me. Everyone to pick me. I'm not really talking about the pick me's. I'm talking about like that is I'm like a pick me. Well, a, a pick me is more like the woman that just would go for. Those they, are the women that wear her jobs and tell you where and how to go. No, the pick women call women call other women pick me's is when they ac they fully acquiesce to a man. Um, they fully acquiesce their behaviors to get a man. Meaning yeah. that they know men like women like this, men like yeah, women like that, and they so act with like their behaviors. Yeah. A groupie like a is groupie. different. That's like an extreme. Oh, yeah. That home girl. Nah, nah. A groupie, uh. a groupie and a pick me is, is different. Hold up. And, a and right now, is just for the group. He yeah, did. my favorite color for orange. I'm wearing all orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pick me. Period. <laughs> yeah. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. That was funny. So, oh, you like to uh, do that? To me. No, I do me that love. Best. So, so, me. so it's totally Pick different, me. right? The groupies yeah. and y'all have it's a different time within the pick me and a groupie, right? The groupie is before they get into a relationship. And she's all over him. That's like in maybe in the out in, in the beginning courting process where she's like all over him. She's all over his boys. So a groupie isn't just on also, one person. Also, maybe pick me's too. On oh, God. Well, well, no, no. L let me break it down for you. Yeah, they, the they, they do the same exact thing to Yeah, yeah so wait, wait, let me break it down for you so you understand. So the, the groupie is in the beginning stage, right? So that woman is fully, you know, just on board with whatever this guy is doing maybe she's in the vip section she really wants to get this man's attention that's the beginning stage the pick me is after the girl got into the relationship right and she acquiesced her behaviors to her man so like you said if my man favorite color orange she wearing orange yeah. so that's different so that's when girls be like oh she doing whatever her man wants but, but that's, that's a different. good that's a good thing she for but sure she the that's is that's not that's a good that's thing. That's 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 different. Different. oh pick me yeah. but no they're just smart if i'm eating cereal in my mom's basement and i have no ambitions to ever better myself as a man Ew. i'm not working out i'm you. not in the gym <laughs> no one would ever pick me right mm -hmm. but no. guess what if yeah. i'm working out i'm in a gym i went to college um fully just working on myself i'm competent you know i'm ambitious That's and i'm a, a go-getter yeah other women would be automatically attracted to me right True. so right. that's not a that's, little it's not a pick me that's, yeah, well, that's a not a so no compare the two that's not a pick me that's just me knowing what women like so that woman isn't a pick me she just knows what men like she could see and she the potential in her you. behaviors i'm not about to be pick misha for you i'm not about to be the woman of your dreams i'm not about to erase my past i'm, I'm not about, about to, to be shit. virgin mary in my past right. or none of that because yeah. i've been virgin mary i've been yeah. Whatever the fuck you wanted me to be, like well, you all can that. Only be Virgin Mary and, one you time. And, and you still, still ain't play your cards on. right when you had the time to play them cards. <laughs> like 
these dudes really yeah. just don't be on shit. You went on that whole rant of the man, but you chose them niggas. Yeah, I be choosing wrong people. That's why I stopped choosing. I am Miss. <laughs> 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 Wake up, Miss. Some... I picked the wrong niggas. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> like, I really want to be a hood. Uh -huh. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you went on that rant about all oh, these niggas, these niggas, but yeah. you chose those niggas, so you do have to take accountability for choosing those. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. niggas will put up a persona that they're Yo, not till so after the fact. Actors. Now they're just a whole completely different person. Now I'm crazy. Certified okay. actors, so certified actors. That, right? They like so Johnny certified. Depp in them. So yeah, you said we're not that we're not gonna make it seem like oh, but you them. picked them, yeah, because I thought you was someone else that you yeah, apparently these you're not. Put on a yeah, they be pick Misha for real. Question, right? These dudes be pick Misha for real. Let's right, get well, into that. Time. Let me rock, right? Because she said <laughs> something that's important. That <laughs> yeah. So, so you said something, right? So you said that pretty much, uh, you know, those guys. They, what you said, like they finesse. They you. like to play with women to boost their ego. Yup. Gotcha. So you pretty much saying like you got finessed uh, from that guy. Yeah. My point is, is that it takes two to tangle. Right? It definitely it takes do. two to tangle. So since it takes two to tangle, you have a degree of accountability of the guy that you choose. So that means that you have For to have sure. more discernment in the men that you choose. Right. So yeah. my sure. point of what I'm saying is that. You're choosing the, the 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 no good men. Clearly. So since that, right? But guess what? There is a finesse. There's a person that gets finesse, and then there's the finesser, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that the accountability was my there. Point. I get where he's saying because it's like we chose the nigga that. You know, we ain't do enough homework. We, I think sometimes we're yes. not, now, so when it's I don't want to say we're delusional, but in a way we're kind of Delu delusional. So look, this is what I'm saying, ladies. So, cause y'all just, y'all talking right now and y'all not, you understand it more and you get what I'm saying. Cause we need this conversation to be concise and cause the viewers is going to be listening and watching. So things need to make sense of the topics that we're speaking about. Yeah, we can't be jumping around. I'm getting you so sure. with this topic here, right. And it started with, I think it was you and maybe some of you ladies over here. You saying that these guys mm -hmm. are no good men. Yes. And, uh, I would choose these no good men. So then that means that the accountability because you I chose said men no use women men. to boost their ego. Yes, that was my topic. So, it was egos. never no, we no, no. chose men. We did yeah, this. They that was my faking. Be, they, they be faking. faking it. That's like, why we choose them. That's what they I'm think saying. Think like, they show that was, up how that was what I we said. think we're about to choose so, them. Ladies, it wasn't about. I'll, I'll just put it very simple, right? <laughs> it takes two to tangle. It does. Since it takes two to tangle, mm -hmm. just y'all pretty, let's just be honest, ladies. The guys y'all talking about is the guys that don't want to give you no commitment that's just smashing. They're not really trying to take y'all seriously. So you talking about on. the niggas that got y'all in sex zone. So think about the that. He's setting it. He's men. telling you the good old nothing lies and you're not getting elevated. You're not getting no true commitment. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't even have the motivation or to anything to even elevate you to that level. That's why you got to cut the motherfucker you. off. So yeah. guess what, ladies? I'm just like you. Just like those niggas got you in sex zone, you got niggas in friend zone that's just like that. Yeah, I so, got men no, in so a sex zone and a friend zone, so, and y'all so all get it. cut off when I'm done with y'all. Right. So my <laughs> point is, is that. It's a fin it's a, the person I got finesse and then there's the finesse. Yeah. I'm so the finesse overall. So most <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, but you, you still listen mm, you still every rhymes. time finesse. Yeah, yeah, but Bella. I don't I don't LLL see that for no reason. Yeah, Bella, <laughs> you still you still just listening to respond, you're not listening to understand. So what I'm saying is I get it. I mm -hmm. know being in a sex zone. I had girls in a sex zone before where they not ever gonna get any commitment. I was just smashing. Yeah, and that's I know different. Because yeah. so, the girl so knows. Then, yeah. No, no. But guess what? Honestly, y'all all got guys <clears throat> currently right now in the friend zone. But guess what? You know, deep down in your deep down in your soul and your gut that though, if you gave them the chance, them niggas would hit. And not only would hit, that they want to hit. So just Everybody. like you have those guys in the friend zone mm -hmm. and those guys is, you know, just hoping and wishing for the right moment on the other side of the text. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, baby, I hope this time she folds so I can come in and execute. I hope she stopped talking to this dude so I could, you know, put in, you know, put in something here. Never but most that. of those dudes don't even have the courage to really approach you properly to be like, hey. I, I'm really attracted to you. Let me take you out sometime. They don't have the courage or even the, the, uh, the, you're not even a, the attraction to get you. So mm -hmm. just like you have guys in the friend zone and they're sitting there, they're thinking they got finessed and you're, you're the finesser. Mm -hmm. Them niggas got you in a sex zone, hitting it, beating Let it up and you're not getting elevated. Let me say something on that. Let me say something on that. And they're finessing you. 
<laughs> Let you me say something saying? on that. Because it's like, you could have just said that, though. If Tag that's what you want to do, you could have just said that, though, and give me the option. Now, at this point, you're playing with me just to fuck with your ego and make you feel like you're that nigga. If all you're using me is for sex, say that, and we could do that. Okay. But, but now you feel like you want to be with me. But now you want to be with me. I might get the time. I got you. I feel you. And I agree. Men should be honest. Thank and you. they should tell the woman their true intentions. Yes. Right? But. Because if that's the but, case, they cool. They want to take look. accountability if that's so the look, case. No, look, ladies, ladies. Exactly. But why exactly. y'all not be, why aren't you honest with the guys you got in front of? I, I be I'm honest. super honest. I'm, I'm super, super honest. honest. I just want to be So, so wait, time honest. on. You honest with them dudes that you got in friends on. You tell, you t you know that they want to hit. And you tell them like, listen, my nigga, Straight you up. never get in box. Straight don't up. Don't ever try. Don't ever ask. You will never get it. Just put it in your head. I did. Straight, Straight up. up. Straight Straight up. up. Yeah. 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 You need to respect me. I had a man send a, a sign an NDA. I had him sign an NDA. Like you're not getting no coochie, and yeah, he, cool like, that he signed the NDA. Okay, like, so that. But what I'm saying, all is you're here for is is trips, it's all up, shopping like, sprees, hair exactly. extensions. Exactly, you're finessing that. that guy. Yes, and he okay. signed the NDA. So I'm that's honest. A, that's a totally different I'm situation. I'm super honest. And in, in general, general right. the women that have guys in friend zone, right? Yeah, they are usually garnering a t attention, time, and resources from that guy, and they're not honest with him. Mm -hmm. So the that's guys, bitches that so don't love no, no, themselves. let me finish. Word. Those, why would let you me ever? finish my statement and then you can Needy go. Right, so babe. those girls yeah. that have guys in friend zone, they're usually garnering attention, time, and resources from the nigga that's, that they got them in friend zone. Mm -hmm. And men that got those women in sex zone, they're garnering sex. And they're not getting elevated. And then that that guy that you got him in friends, so he's not getting that elevated to sex uh, to sex with you. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that men and women play the same game. So stop harping about it. Yo, you wanna do Bring this? Bring on my babysitter, uh, no, bitching at me because of you. Keep going, and then we're gonna end the podcast. Yeah, last question on the podcast. Uh, starting with who did we go with last? Yeah. Started with you, right? Did we start with me? Yeah, we. Yeah. What's up? What's up? So it should be over there, right? Two, yeah. Three, it should be with her. You want me to switch yeah. it for, or you could do it. You got our best anymore. Do you want me to go over there? No, no, no. You're fine. Oh, okay. You can stay right there. Yeah. All right. Um. Want to even it out for two and two? Yeah, yeah. I'll even it yeah, out. Yeah, no, it's fine. Oh uh, yeah, she good. Kev, All you right. want to sit there? Just flip back. Yeah, go, nigga. Kev, sit right here. Come on, baby daddy. All right. Uh, we gonna go with uh you. Uh, do you think women are followers by nature or leaders by nature? I'm a leader by <laughs> what? nature. Mm. And ladies, one thing, yo, it's one mic at a time too. Like, let her rock. Fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta choose one. Well, I'm choosing fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. Period. You're choosing that they're leaders by there's nature. There's some women that are leaders by nature, by nature, and there's some women that are followers. Do you by know nature. what by nature means? How you were born? Like how they were grew up? Born. No, no, no. By nature, meaning that it's innately in you. Uh, it's your nature to behave a certain way. Well, I'm, so you I'm gonna go with leaders. 50 50. So you're going to say Because like, there's, like, there's a lot of women leaders, like, you feel me? Okay, so you're saying women are leaders by nature? Like, that's their nature hmm, to be a leader? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, nah. I'm going to disagree. The men can have that. Okay. The men can lead. I mean, it don't, it, it's whatever you think. The men can lead. I'm going to follow you, but I'm not following no bitch. Oh, God. Word. Oh, I'm going to follow my man. So, I'm not following no bitch, cool. though. So you think um, women aren't leaders by nature? Perfectly right. fine. And let's go with right. uh, Cheryl. That's right, right? Bro, yeah. so oh, Shirley. Her, bro. Lee. Shirley. Lee. Lee. Just bro, Lee. Shirley. Oh, do you think goodness. women are followers by nature or leaders by nature and why? This is crazy. Am I speaking for myself or for like... A in general. Uh, women in general. Because I was born a leader. Fuck. Oh, granny. Um, but I think... Follow my man. I think people... <laughs> Certain females follow by, yeah, they don't follow by nature. Put me in, coach. What? Put me in, coach. Oh, I don't think they do because they see okay. certain they see certain things. They see okay, certain so things. Saying... They see how they get the attention. How they they see other girls get the attention from what they're doing. So they're like, damn, they let me do it. that too. Let me follow and see if I get that as well. I can't really speak for that because I'm I I was a born leader. <laughs> like I don't know. I do my own shit. I you said you're a born leader? Yeah, I do my so own shit. Granny. I do so, my own thing. So um, if granny. you're a born leader, then why do you have such a hard time taking accountability? 
<laughs> That's cute. What? How did that go from that to accountability? Because I we could were take having a conversation earlier. I could take and accountability. It was on accountability. <laughs> I could take accountability. I could definitely take accountability. Well, what you were talking you about could... was something completely different. We were talking about a man's persona, how a man can lie about who they are, and we get finessed by that. That's and, not taking and, accountability. No, no. I can't take accountability, accountability for, for you choosing being a the wrong yeah, that, that is what she said. No, she said she can't take. Ladies, but, but, yes, I did say but that. She said she'll take accountability if she chooses to fuck with him after the fact that she knows what yeah, happened. That's that, when that, she's going to take accountability for that. That's what she said. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. That's exactly what she said. Bring it back. Bring you said, said she said she take accountability. No, her exact words was she'll take accountability after she found out whatever the fuck he did. Yeah, my and now it's all her. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, ladies. My point is that that's still not taking a, I take accountability after this. No, uh, taking accountability, accountability is from the start of it. You <laughs> chose a broke bum nigga that no, doesn't love no, and no. that was never you. the words oh. bro that doesn't oh. love him that, that isn't treating you right so therefore and you was blaming it on when a man when did he say that what you okay okay okay, okay. See, see, I, I feel him though I feel him though no, 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 we never even said that topic because she never said that she never said that no 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 we never spoke about the question I flipped the question right now I still took accountability for that hold on one second at a time one second let him ask so so right now He's saying so if I was to flip the question right now let's say you were to go on a date you you follow this girl on Instagram right now yeah. on Instagram she's faking that lifestyle she's acting like she's this bad and bougie bitch she got money she got this she got all that yeah. but in reality she's a real life bum ass bitch I'm gonna still you take, gonna her take her accountability for that uh, yeah cause I don't look for money in a woman what the heck I don't care about her Do you look faking for her lifestyle but, but, but it's you're the same gonna, thing you? it's the same thing no though. I don't look for that you messed up the analogy what you should have said is if a woman was displaying her beauty in a certain way that she was slim slim waist with okay. wide hips it's and a fat okay, well, thing. Maybe maybe that's that's the thing. Thing. and then i went ahead and uh and then i went ahead and met her and she was a okay, catfish i'll take accountability for that like dane i didn't you do my to. research good enough i just got finessed how the, how how you fall? the world doesn't owe us understanding it's up to us to understand the world that we live in Jesus. so there's a finesse Sir, and then there's the finesse, finesse right? <laughs> so if I, I was, was talking to a girl Shit. on Instagram that had a skinny <laughs> waist, a fat booty, <laughs> and a, yo, one more time, a skinny waist, a fat booty, and a pretty face, but when I actually met her, she was obese and looking very, very much different than her pics. I should, I would be like, I feel stupid. Because I, I accountability, I should have known. I should have asked the FaceTime. I should have. I could have did a multiple multiple FaceTime. Hey, step, le, put your phone there. Step back. Let me see you, Mama. I could have said, Yo, send me some videos. But I could have did a multitude of things. So no, time out, time out, time out. I could have right did a multitude wait, of wait, things. Wait, wait. So what I'm saying is, when you choose those niggas that don't really that that th when you choose those because the conversation was women choosing men that only want sex. Right. So when you choose those niggas that only want sex and they won't take you serious, seriously, you feel like you got finesse. So my point is that, like, I could have asked the fate for a FaceTime and a multitude of other things. You could have courted that guy and asked for, hey, so you could ask probing questions. So, well, well, what do you how do you get your money? What do you do for a living? But you know, stuff like you could have asked certain questions. Okay. Up front to know who you was getting. Now, that brings me to yeah. what I'm about to say. Majority of these men, just like women, I'm not about to sit here and tell you how much I make. And you're not about to sit here and tell me how much you make. Like. Wait, I don't feel like you saying about money and stuff. Like I don't feel like I it's should be not, asking you those type of questions. We're getting off so topic. I feel no, like no, if no, I we're just not getting off topic. I think we're actually staying on topic, matter, right? Bro. This is good. So you don't have to ask That's a man. Idea. Think about it. You don't have to ask a man how much money. Lame. You don't have to ask a man how much money he makes. Just like a man doesn't have to ask a woman what's her body count, right? We know right. that those are the two most important things to the opposite gender. Right. But the key thing is about being aware, right? So I already know if I'm talking to a woman, well, it's a high probability if she's on a stripper pole or she has an OnlyFans or she's posting all these promiscuous pictures on IG that her body count will be higher, right? It's a higher That's probability. A wait, oh, wait. So, no, ladies, I'm talking y'all been yip yapping the whole time let me let me rock so what i'm saying is that there's a higher probability 
for that woman to have a higher notch count, right? So mm -hmm. that means that I'm going to have some discernment in the woman I choose. I'm going to choose the woman. I'm going to choose the wife up the woman and give her a relationship. The woman that doesn't have those promiscuous pictures. The woman that isn't always out all the time. You get what I'm saying? That's so now negative, let's reverse though. it. Now when it comes to, to a man, that don't make sense. you choosing, what are you talking about? You choosing a man, right? And sense. you're in the courting process and you're texting him and he can't plan a date. He's like indecisive on what's he want, what, what he wants to do. So key, well, leaders are decisive. If he's indecisive, that's a red flag. Mm. So this would be a guy that doesn't have the traits that I'm looking for for a long-term relationship. So this is what I'm saying. You have to have discernment. The facts is that you ladies don't have any discernment. So then you're just living in la-la land and living in delusion land and you choose a nigga and you have zero accountability when you find out that he's broke, a bum, and yeah. he only wanted to smash. That's a fact. That's beyond me. Wait, 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 wait. Because I do my can research I before in? I find out. You can chime in. All right. Um, you, what you said, a woman that has OnlyFans, what? So, a woman but, that's but a stripper. Wait, 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 wait. His, his, wait. his opinion Yeah, is, It's really his opinion, and honestly, it's a double standard because exact, honestly, yes. it, that's just, yes. that's, that's that's just what is it? Yeah, it's double just like you're going to think so that somebody who's a stripper is a hoe. It's just how no, it is. No, 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 no. no. Women, of, women, no, ladies, no, ladies. No. I'm not saying that a woman that's a stripper is a hoe. That's yeah. not what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Listen, it's possible for her to have a higher It's a higher possibility. No, no, no. Okay, so Miss you was so, she has an OnlyFans that she has a higher body count. That's what you said. Bag. No, That's what it's is. possible for her it's to have the he higher body He said a higher body possibility. It's no, a no, higher no, ladies, possibility, but it's not confused. nine times out of ten. listen to understand, right? Because the English language, right? No, it's I'm very getting, simple. I think you got it a little bit. But what I'm saying is this, that a sh girl that's on a stripper pole or that has OnlyFans, I'm not saying that she is a hoe. It's anything is possible, right? Mm -hmm. But you're saying there's a higher off That's possibility. That's a regular nigga with a nine to five. Yo, listen, you still not listen. I'm talking things. about probabilities. Do you know the difference between possibilities and probabilities? There's a huge difference. So the probability is much higher for a woman that has or only fans or posting promiscuous pictures online or that is a stripper the probability is higher that she has a higher notch count all that's right. what i'm saying i know some strippers that really don't be smashing at all so mm -hmm. yeah there are strippers and yeah there are actual porn stars that literally do porn and they only do porn with one guy Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's some girls on only fans that literally only smash their one guy mm -hmm. but everyone else is thinking she for the streets but she really only letting one nigga hit it. You right. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, we, so we do know. So we do know. But that's what I'm saying. That is a lower probability, right? All so right. that's a lower probability. Uh, it's a higher probability that the most most women that have only fans as strippers and this and this, they have a higher. They're more promiscuous, which is a higher body count. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm not that's saying no, I get what you're doing saying. it is out yeah, there like and I get got the a high whole, notch count. I get the whole we already talked about that, but let's go back to the whole leading by nature cuz I feel like we got Oh yeah, yeah, let's go uh, yeah, over here, here and we're like over here. Yeah. Um let's bring it back to Bible times. Wait, wait, let me ask you the question so you can answer it concisely ahead. and then you can go, go into whatever you want. Yep, yep. So, um hold up, let me bring it out. And then we're going to wrap up after this question. Do you think a woman Wait, do you think women are followers by nature or leaders by nature? Or why? Oh, I'm ready to answer that. So, we're supposed to be followers by nature. Back when Adam was created, mm -hmm. he was supposed to be the nurturer, the follower, mm -hmm. and the we needed to make woman out of his rib because he couldn't get it right. Mm. Wait, you what, know what I'm what? saying? Was well, because he, he came didn't want from him, he didn't want him to be alone. Yeah, yeah. Wait. So you saying I can't answer concisely? Do you think first answer the question, then get into it? So, all right, so you so, said women are supposed to be followers by nature. So we're supposed to be by followers nature. by okay, nature because God made men to lead and provide, and women to follow. Got so it. So women are supposed to follow and take <laughs> his lead did, and add to what he got going on because he can't do it by himself. Heavy on the add. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, word. So if you're and adding, you partially a, a leader. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, no, not at all. If you're adding to something, you're partially a leader. Because men be a little bit lost in the sauce. So they have a left. Uh, you got to Let me bring it out and lay in the terms for you. Shit. Yeah, go put yeah. it in basketball I get terms what you, I get what you mean, though. I put it in basketball terms for you. Yeah. So you said adding is also a leader? Yeah, like you're... Um, so if I'm a leader in score and I average guard. 30, and you got two, you're yeah. a leader, too? Yeah, I'm adding to you. Not at all. Nowhere close. Now we added to you. Now we up 32. She led you. We up 32 rather than 30, right? She led you them two. I said I averaged 30 and you averaged two. Yeah, and we up 32. Are you the point leader or me? You rather up 30 or you rather up 32? No, I said, are you the point leader or me? If do I lead? All right, so how are you a leader too if you only add two points to that? Because that's cool. She could have been the winning two. Yeah, I could have been the winning two. That's cool. She could be winning two every game. She still doesn't lead the team in scoring, I do. I never said I was Yeah, but that's yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's start what was with the question. Damn, I'm intrigued. Crush's now. last thoughts on the podcast. Let's start with you, Bella. Um, last thoughts on the podcast. How did you like it? Um, I loved it. Word. It was good combos. Yes, I could do this again. We'll do it again. Yes, 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 sir. Ski. Okay. Word, <laughs> word. Would you come back? Hell you yeah. Come back. I'll come back. And what about you, Diamond? <laughs> I think it was cool. I think it's good vibes. I think the topics that you talk about are really good and yeah. they're mainstream. And I think people need to hear it and they need to talk about it. And people need to learn from stuff like this. Last thoughts on the podcast? Um, it was good. I would definitely come back. I feel like talks like this lot. need to happen more. <laughs> but, Final um, thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> How did you like the podcast? Would you come back? It was a vibe. Yeah, I would definitely come back. It was definitely a vibe. It was a vibe? I fuck with it, yeah. You liked it? I appreciate that. And you was here the one time in the back, right? Yeah. When I had kicked the girl out, it was wild. Yeah, yeah. I thought it you was would be scared real, to come on. It was on, real touchy. But you came on. No, but that's why I was like observing it's type crazy. shit. It was asking for you to come on that day too. They yeah, to yeah. On. So it was like, I was just observing. I didn't really want to yeah. get on because it was like, I came like mid, mid. Um, yeah, it was like mid. I think I yeah, mid session type shit so i was like let me just watch and and shit like that but yeah i'm trying to come back on here oh yeah i got you he made a he made a bitch cry he made a bitch cry ladies i appreciate y'all for coming this podcast was no fugazi and we out peace no sirski